ATI radio on HD 4870 and HD 4850 graphics cards celebrate their 15th anniversary. In 2008, AMD released one of its most successful graphics processors. Advanced RV660 architecture in the form of RV770 graphics processors based on 55 nanometers process technology was a headache for NVIDIA, which was offering gamers expensive graphics cards of Force GTX 200 series, including the flagship GTX 280 model. In June 2008, AMD released two models called the HD4870 and HD4850 based on the RX770 XT or RV770 PRO GPUs. These graphics cards had 956 million transistors, more than 60 times fewer than modern GPUs such as the Navi 31. Both models had the same number of cores, 800 combined with 40 texture and 16 raster blocks. There were 512 megabytes of GDDR5 memory on board, and each model had a 256-bit memory bus. As for power, it was close to what you would expect from a mid-range model these days, that is 110 to 160 watts. More importantly, both cards were absolutely affordable to most users at the time, with MSRPs of $299 and $199 for the HD4870 and HD4850, respectively. The AMD Radeon HD4850 in particular showed fantastic performance for its level, outperforming the GeForce 9000 8000s series in most tests. In fact, by using Crossfire technology with multiple GPUs, it could compete with the next-generation GeForce GTX 280 series for $649 while remaining two and a half times cheaper. New tests provided by ComputerBase show this. It's worth adding that AMD quickly noticed the growing popularity of the HD 4800 series. Just a few months later, AMD decided to release HD 4870X2 and HD 4850X2 models with two GPUs. The series still used the ATI logo, despite the acquisition that happened two years prior. This went on until the HD 6000 series, which was already coming out under the AMD brand. Now, 15 years later, AMD and NVIDIA are competing in a completely different and much more expensive environment. The only card with similar specs, TDP and price, will be Radeon RX 7600 based on Navi 33 GPU. This GPU has 10.9 teraflops of processing power, which is more than 9 times higher than the HD 4870.